How many of you have friends with similar hobbies of you? Like tennis or basketball? How many of you have a good support system that encourages you to reach your goals? What I have to share with you today is not new, but it's something that we have never had. It was the year 2005, I had a bachelor's degree, good jobs, I had good family and friends. And while I had all those things, I felt like something was missing. One time, I got an email for a volunteer opportunity in San Bria. I decided to join, but in the program there were two groups. There was Americans, and then there were the locals there. We worked together. Our goal was social change. I saw how the groups worked together. It was an inspiration for me. I wanted more of that support and that unity. There are many limits placed on deaf people. That experience I had in the program where we had the Americans and the locals come together, we became equals, we were peers. We worked together, we were similar, and we were able to share our experiences and work as equals. Peer-to-peer -peer work has power. For example, today we're all here, and why are we sharing our ideas with each other? That's a good example of peer-to-peer. -peer. After I'd been back from that trip, about three months, I was thinking about the social change and how we were able to work together. The deaf community needs that. That's what I took back from that trip. So I got together with my friends and we started discussing different things. We had a vision of how that could work. We wanted to accomplish that goal. So now I'm going to show you the numbers of our vision. Two point seven, twenty-seven point eight million people around the world have hearing loss. And a large amount of them live in undeveloped countries. They're limited in education, their social environment, everything. They have all these limitations. And the solution to the problem is peer-to-peer. -peer. So as those two groups got together, we had a discussion about a dream. So we asked these group of people what they wanted to accomplish, what their dreams were. Some were saying that they wanted to cook or that they wanted to be a parent. And when we talked to these deaf people, we asked them what their dreams were, and they said that they couldn't do these things because they were deaf. And as we were able to help them, it was able to give them a vision of what they could accomplish. That power was shared between all. It's an underdeveloped country, and we were able to have a, a conversation where there was no fear.
So think of the system that we have. So an American will go to an undeveloped country and we'll teach and help the people and then they'll go back. So then another American will go and help those people and then they'll go back to America. But does that really help those communities? What if we sent a group of deaf people, a group of them, to these underdeveloped countries and worked with the deaf people there? And as they were able to work together in groups, that might improve their communication and help them overcome different social issues. It might be a more effective way to help them. And not only would they benefit, but also the Americans would benefit. Everyone would grow from it. All the deaf would realize that there are people who have the same experiences. They would be supporting us, and we would be supporting them. Their communication would improve, their language abilities would get better. And we would also be able to share cultural knowledge the whole time. The world is a big place. But peer-to-peer -peer is the way to make this happen. So as they fly back home, that communication doesn't stop. They can continue to maintain relationships through Facebook. Facebook and social media. Maybe they could even go on vacation with those people and continue on with those relationships that they've formed. There was an Indian boy who lived in a really small country. There was not a lot for him as a deaf person through communication or education. He just didn't have a lot of opportunities. So someone had asked him to join a group. And I was there and I met him. He was a really shy boy and his answers were very short. Usually just a yes or no. He did a lot of, of watching. And I watched him and I thought that we maybe could overcome the fear that he had. He saw how other people communicated and how they built a relationship, and he slowly started to open up. He would occasionally throw in a, a comment here or there, and maybe he would talk about what he wanted to become in the future, and as that program continued, he made a huge change. It was amazing for me to see. This boy, at the end of the program, was breakdancing as a group. There was someone in the group who knew how to breakdance, and he completely put aside all his inhibitions, and he just went for it. So now he's teaching other deaf people. Through that one program, he was changed, and he in turn is changing other people. Peer-to-peer -peer has its positives and it also has its challenges. In America, men and women are seen as equals. But in most of those underdeveloping countries, it's not the case. So that would be a challenge to do peer-to-peer -peer with those different cultural views. In 2007, there was a program that had started called Global Reach Out. This program was created to allow different opportunities for the deaf community. Where there were cultural difficulties, this would benefit them. Five different countries set up the program, 3,000 people had visited, about 156 people joined. They each have their own unique experience, just like that Indian boy. I asked myself before, could that peer-to-peer -peer, peer -peer method continue on? And I think the answer is yes, it can. It can inspire people. There's a lot of people, or problems that people face, whether it's cult cultural issues or 
family problems, social problems, the peer-to-peer -peer can help. I recently went to Guatemala for a trip. There's a lot of deaf youth there that had never met another deaf person. They've never seen a deaf American. So as I joined their group and through that program, in just a week, the very last day their parents came. They wanted to see where their children had gone to that. They learn how to sign in a week how to become a strong person. And their parents were amazed at the progress that they saw in their children and how happy their children were. They began crying and asked, thanked me for the work that I'd done. They had thought that there was no future for their deaf children and that schooling and education were things that were impossible. And they continued to ask me to come back. So those social interactions inspire those people. And that will continue to spread. Peer-to-peer -peer is not an isolated thing. It can work anywhere. The impact that peer-to-peer -peer can have is very powerful.